Hello everybody, this is JD. I've been in the hospital with my daughter for a couple of days. She's been sick, but I'm back. Just before I got back, took my daughter to the hospital, someone said, you know, you got a lot of good governmental programs. What about an economic program? Out of 500 and some videos, they asked me, what about an economic program? Well, there is one. A very strong economic program. It's just that you have to read it. You've got to listen to it. What is it based on? It's based on certain things. First, the economics of this country is based on consumer. Plain and simple. So for you to buy anything, you got to have money. So that puts the first step of the economic program, jobs. Jobs must be had. And that I'm going to work on with the second one the very day after I get elected. I didn't say sworn in, pledged in, or anything like that. The very day after the election. And that's manufacturing. You gotta understand any economic program is a three legged stool. Just like farming, it's a three legged stool. You take some good fertile land that's in the middle of the arid desert. You got plenty of sunlight. And as long as you provide water, that farm will produce and feed thousands. But the instant the water is shed off, the plants start to die. Same thing goes with an economy of a nation. There's other nations just like ours throughout the world with millions of people in it. But as long as there's manufacturing within that nation, it thrives. Manufacturing is the water that is brought to the desert. Manufacturing is what an economy grows on. And how many times did I say we have to change our procedures to make manufacturing want to come back into this nation? And that's what I'm going to do. And I said it could be done with the swipe of a pen. The rest of the world may not like it, but the people of the United States of America must come first. We can't save the world if we ourselves are drowning. There's nothing we can do. So I must somehow which I know how to do, bring manufacturing back into this country and manufacturing that wants to be back into this country. That's the first and foremost. And that will be worked on from the day they say J.D. won the presidential election. Now, the second step into our economy is that we have a debt hanging over our neck. That debt must be reduced. You're in a household. Your income has been reduced. Do you continue the expenditures? Or do you reduce it? Some of you tried to continue the expenditures, you found out you ran out. Others, like me, had completely reduced everything that you were spending. About down to the bare minimums in some things. And that's what our federal government must do. Reduce the size of the government. So we got jobs manufacturing reduce the size of the government now what else can I put into this economic program what else can I do to enhance it there's got to be something else that I can do there is you need to improve your economic status do you continue doing the things the same old way do you continue doing the job the way you were doing it before? Or do you go out and get a better paying job? 
job that brings better income with the same effort. Yes. Most of us go out and get, look for a better pay job. A job that will give us better income with less strain on the individual. And that's what we need to do. How to do that? Mm. Well, let's see. We have uh, outdated, non-functional, self-destructive tax program. Mm, let's see. Oh, yeah, I had to do a lot of talking about taxes, haven't I? How to get rid of all these tax programs we have and go to a sales tax. Because, you see, our economy is built on the ability of our entrepreneurs to make money and one thing about people who make money is that they spend money the more money they make the more money they spend but the problem is most of our money being made in this country is what I would call underground employment now what is an underground employment oh well uh, let's see uh, one illegal aliens. They're underground employment, aren't they? How many of them are legally employed? Hmm. How about those people who sell those funny looking smoking cigarettes? Marijuana. And whole hundreds of other jobs. How about these people who make billions of dollars outside the United States and only brings in what they spend? Hmm, yeah, that, that money is not collected on either, isn't it? So as you see, we have an underground employment. The majority of our income is an underground income. That's not being touched. So why should the tax burden fall solely on those who are legally employed in this country? Oh, the ab above ground employment, as I will call it. It should be shared among all. And it should be fair and equitable among all. And it should represent the desires of the people above all. Well, that wipes out the current tax program we got, doesn't it? It's not shared equally above all. It's not representative of the people. And it's not fairly distributed. Well, that wipes definitely wipes out the current tax program, doesn't it? So we have to totally redo, revise, revamp our tax system. And I talked about it. A sales tax, a consumption tax, a fair tax, whatever you want to call it. It's still a sales tax. It allows everybody to make as much as they want. You could save for your retirement and no one's going to touch it. You could save as much as you want for your child's education. And no one's going to touch it. What's going to happen is only when you buy things will it be taxed. And what's so great about it is if it's a straight aboard, uh, across the board tax, the government's going to have to send you a rebate. Yeah, send you some money. So who's going to get that money? Everybody who's legally registered with the United States. They will get a rebate check every three or four months. Like an income tax return check, but it's going to be your your sales tax rebate check. But you see, the government's got to know who you are, where you are. So those who are here illegally, well, you'll be paying a little bit more in taxes than everybody else because you won't be getting that rebate check unless you let us know about it because you're entitled to it. You let us know about it, we will more than happily send that rebate check to you with a federal officer so he can escort you to the airport so you can cash your check, buy your plane ticket, and fly home. Or you can continue to pay your taxes and not cash, not get a rebate check because you're here illegally. So, do I have an economic program? I mean, in those 500 videos, I talk about, first and foremost, jobs, getting manufacturing back into this country. And it can be done. And it will be done. Then I talk about reducing the size of the government. A must, period. 
We're paying people hundreds of thousands of dollars for doing absolutely what I consider a useless filling of a desk seat. And finally, a tax system, which is so overburdened, so incompetent, so non-functional, that even if we had a debt of one cent, it couldn't pay it. And reducing the debt of the nation. Now, if that isn't an economic program, I have no idea what is. What do you want me to say? The day you start work? All I can tell you is the day I will start working at getting you your job and getting manufacturing into this country. And believe me, what I'm going to do is going to make manufacturing want to, very strongly want to, come back into this country. And that I will do. What can I say? There's your economic program for you. To bring you, the American citizen, a job that you can handle, that you want, that you need. Put manufacturing back into this country, which then puts money back into the economy. Then builds construction so people can buy their homes back, keep their homes, or build new homes. Get rid of a tax system that's overburdened, incompetent, and unable to work and reduce the total size of our government and having the state take on more responsibility of the state and the federal government backing off and I'm not even began talking about the overpaid jerks to put it mildly that take up a void that they put a desk in so yes there's an economic program in there, a very strong economic program a viable economic program that will work, that will put us back to where we need to be. First and foremost, you got to understand what we are, what we were, and how to get back there. And the Constitution, when strictly adhered to, will promote all aspects of my economic program. One, Put ma jobs into this country, bring manufacturing back, reduce the size of the government, and totally fix the tax program, which is not working at all. That's the beginning, the very beginning of my economic program. That's my goals for this country as president, to put you to work, to make you viable, to show the world the worth of the American people and build upon your ability to be employed, your ability to buy, your ability to stand tall and say, I am an American and my government assists me with my economic growth for me and my family, not restricts me. Because the Constitution says that our government is there to assist, not restrict. The people are to restrict the government. The government is to assist the people. But both must do their job. Sorry, people. That's the way I feel. And that's the way it's going to be. This is J.D. Yes, I am a legal, binding presidential candidate. But unless you all start doing something... It doesn't mean a thing. Thank you. Have a nice day. You listen to my economic program. Argue it if you try. You won't be able to. Thank you.